Mr. Commander-in-Chief President, I rushed just as many rangers here as I possibly could. We're gonna lock down this here White House and prevent any of them dang Soviets in. Well, they're not really the Soviet Union anymore. Also, who are you? I'm just a lonely man, no wife, no kids. War's my lover. I've always found the battlefield to be a calming thing. Keeps this here old southern heart a ticking. Without the brutality of battle, sir, I don't think I would still be alive. Plenty of bullets whiz by my head. Plenty of bullets missed, plenty of bullets hit. But ooh lordy, I just keep on a gunning. I was sent here by your very fine Pentagon. They's instructed me to hold the White House at all costs. All right, you're weird, but you're all I got. Why don't you go ahead and uh, prepare the men? I'm just gonna hide here and hope not to get shot. Yo, 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 what's good, gamers? It's me, Daily Tactics, here back with our Modern Warfare series that we're working on on the channel. I am just loving this. It is getting so, so fun. And today, we're finally doing it the White House is under attack. The Russians have gained reinforcements in their invasion of America, uh, and they've returned with a vengeance, really. I mean, they did really well in the first battle that we had, in fact, winning, uh, but now they're back again with even more troopers, and they're going to be taking on uh, the White House itself and its fortifications. Now, uh, the president did manage to get some reinforcements here along with some new tactical advice, uh, and uh, they've got a pretty good setup. I mean, it's rushed, but it, it's worth its salt. You know, it's got some uh, artillery pieces here. It's got some M1 Abrams. It's got a few Humvees and whatnot, as well as Rangers galore. Uh, the very front defenses are still the police line. These poor chaps didn't sign up for this, but God dang it, they're involved now and they're defending their country. Uh, and they're all going up against a pretty massive Russian convoy. The Russians have T-90s, T-80s, every tank out the wazoo, along with some pretty elite soldiers. Uh, they've got some, I believe these are called gazes or something along those lines. Correct me if I'm wrong in the comments, please. Uh, as well as troop carriers. They've also got flanking forces they have forces on the far left flanking as well as forces on the far right flanking should be a real bombastic battle i'm very excited for this if you guys are enjoying this series please be sure to hit the like button let's try and get a thousand likes in the first 24 hours it helps out the channel a ton subscribe if you haven't already and comment down below any ideas uh, that you would like to see for the next episode either way let's get into it Alrighty then, we're gonna go ahead and press start right off the bat. I think we're gonna go in slow-mo for just the first little bit here because there's gonna be a lot of action. Alright, the SWAT team as well as local police begin to disperse among the cars and whatnot. They've got the rangers backing them up and there's plenty of free roaming rangers as well who could potentially come forward and help them out if need be. This poor SWAT team member is the first to go down on the battlefield. This tank cruising on forward, firing its machine guns. It's also got infantry help behind it that are just spraying down these American police forces. RIP, can we get some Fs in chat for the boys in blue here who are having a real tough time right now. Uh, they're hiding behind cars. They're doing everything they can to escape some of this incoming fire. Of course, suffice it to say, I don't think this this really needs to be said, actually, uh, that uh, this is completely unrealistic. Um, and hopefully will never happen uh, in the future or anything along those lines. But, you know, it's fun to do these goofy style of videos that, you know, might be completely unrealistic. But, hey, it's, it's fun to speculate and, and do battles of them. So, you know, before I get the people who, uh, you know, oh, gotta, gotta type as fast as possible angrily at Daily for making a stupid unrealistic <laughs> battle. <laughs> It happens more often than you think. Help me. All right. Either way, the SWAT team and police are getting kind of pushed back here. They're running back uh, to the defenses where the Rangers are holed up here. The Rangers never really came forward to help them out. Um, let's see. There are free roaming Rangers like way back here. Looks like these guys are mainly dispersing among the White House grounds. So uh, that is uh, it's good. But, uh, you know, we could use some help further up. Uh, the flanks uh, appear to have Rangers in battle right now. Many of them hug the uh, the walls of this building. I mean, there's not that much cover out here for them, so 
That's the best they got. Some of the T-80s up here are getting hit pretty hard by some uh, incoming fire from not only some bazookas, but also some of the artillery pieces are hitting them pretty hard. One of them goes down. Is the second one down? No, this one might still be alive for now. Nope, it is dead. Uh, but this one is alive, and it's getting hit in the side, a very vulnerable part of the tank. Really, you want to take a hit in the front. That's, that's the goal, but... At least it's not in the booty. The booty is the worst place to get shot on a tank. He does manage to take out that bazooka trooper who was hitting him, so that tank might very well live for a little bit longer here. On this flank over this away, this tank is utilizing this newspaper stand as cover. All right, you know, whatever works, dude. Uh, there are some more tanks over this way, and they seem to be <laughs> just running through gates and... I don't know what they're doing, man. The Russian infantry is playing catch up to this tank and trying to come to its aid, it seems. Straight down the middle. Um, this tank is providing some good cover fire as the Russian forces sort of surround it and, uh, you know, start trying to push forward into the main sort of, uh, I don't know, park in front of the White House here. Not bad at all. All right. We got, we got lots of fire, man. We got a whole lot of fire. <laughs> it's, it's chaos in this battlefield right now. These tanks are just... Oh my god, this is hard to watch. What are you guys doing? <laughs> they're all on top of each other, stuck. Oh, they're gonna, uh, they're gonna have to sort this out. You know what? I'm gonna open up this gate. Let's say the Russians blew it up, so maybe, maybe they can escape that way and get back into the battlefield. Who knows? Who knows, man? All right, it's time to go into normal speed. That's enough of this slow-mo crud. Let's get full-on action here. Rangers and police still holding the front lines really, really nicely here. They are taking more and more losses, but they're still getting good fire out, and they're still getting good kills on these Rushkis. The comrades, they are taking heat. They are taking incoming fire. Watch out. The Hydro Homie American Army. They are destroying us. I can't do Russian accents for the life of me. Oh my god. Oh my god. Look at these police officers with their glocks up here. Just spam firing away. They got one heck of a trigger finger right there, dude. This ranger just sort of supporting the boys as they retreat back. He's taking some fire, but he's trying to make sure these cops get away. They're not soldiers, but they're doing their best, and he's, he's trying to support them in their fight for America. All right, the Russians have just about broken in to the entrance to the park here. They are getting behind these cars, utilizing them as some cover fire. They've still got the tanks backing them up, so that's good to see. Um, how are the flanks doing, by the way, right now? Uh, it looks like the flanks do have Russian infantry rushing through them as well. They are coming deep into the park now, getting a lot of Ranger kills here. This is not a very good sign. Now uh, the back lines of the White House are starting to erupt into some fire here. Uh, troopers spraying and praying right now at every Russian they can possibly see. Lucky enough for them, the Russians are very clumped together, so they could just sort of fire into those clumps and hope to get some kills. You know, they, they don't really have to aim. They just pull the trigger and let her rip. Uh, the Abrams back here are coming into action a little bit, as well as the artillery, of course. They've also got this mortar here. Unclear if this thing is firing. Oh, it definitely is firing. Let's see if we can spot where that shot went. Ooh, straight down the middle here, landed right there. No Russians in sight. That must be sort of the limit of this thing. I'm seeing lots of, you know, markings over here where that mortar might have hit. So the limit is probably like these SWAT cars over here. So the Russians aren't quite in the wheelhouse of this mortar yet, uh, but they will be soon, and then I think those mortars will begin to tear it up against these Russians. Uh, Russian tanks entering into the park over here. Hopefully those Abrams can take good care of them. Uh, the Americans also have some tow missiles, too. These things are pretty dope. Uh, they're managing to fire away uh, a lighter form of, uh, you know, anti-tank gun, but, uh, you know, it's not, a, it's not a tank, but it'll, it'll have to do here, you know? Um, lots of the police and rangers have backed up to the fence line over here, but uh, aren't quite able to make it to the gate, so they're just sort of stuck with their backs against the wall. It's not a great place to be. Heck, they could even just go up here and join these rangers at their uh, fortifications and probably be a little bit better off than just hugging the back of the fence there. It's not the greatest position, but I think they're worried to join Henny here uh, just because of the sheer amount of fire coming on in. The Russians are nice and spread out right now, managing to just get a wide arc of fire coming in here. It is it is not a good time to be an American soldier right now. They are literally at the White House gates right now, and the Americans are trying their hardest to defend their nation's capital. 
and the household of the president. Uh, not too many losses being taken at the White House just yet. In fact, I'm not really seeing anyone uh, inside of the gates here who have died. I'm seeing some taking some bullet fire and things like that. But for the most part, no one has bit the dust quite yet. And I think that's a good sign. That means that these guys are still at a range where they can just sort of spray and pray and, uh, you know get some good outgoing fire without taking too much incoming fire you know the russians haven't gotten quite close enough yet to really do too much damage so the americans are able to you know get some shots off before they get into that range um and of course the rangers up here who are still somehow alive many of them taking a lot of hits and things like that these guys up here are real heroes because they are keeping the Russians at bay for long enough for these guys back here to get as many shots as they can on the Russians. So, uh, without those troopers doing that heroic sacrifice, uh, the American defensive here would probably crumble a lot faster. The bulk of the Russian armed forces right now are still sort of in the center. The flanks are still very active, but the center is definitely where it's at right now. Uh, in terms of tanks, I mean, the Russians... Should I help? These tanks are clearly glitched. I'm going to push them into the middle, and that is all I'm going to do. It is up to them uh, to right themselves and, and get going for it. And hell, I'll even, I'll even unstick that one. Guys, <laughs> these tankus are so stupid. Uh, and then this thing I will help as well. And this thing is stuck behind a fence, so I will help that as well. There you go. That's all the help I'm giving to the Russians right now. Um... It only seems fair because it's just AI glitches. It's not really, you know, it, it, it's not anything the AI can do about it. You know, I feel like that's a fair, fair opportunity to help a smidge without really helping. You know, it's it's what they deserve to get in the beginning of the game. It's it's what they have, and yet they weren't able to use it because of glitches. So I think it's only right to right the ship in that regard. Either way, troopers inside the White House are beginning to die. A good number of them uh, dropping, but. Uh, there's still a strong force here. You know, they, they still have enough troopers, I think, to hold out. Uh, and, heck, these guys back here haven't even really started firing out because they're not even close enough to the enemy yet. So these guys are like almost reserves. They are fresh troops. They haven't fired at all. So uh, they are going to be fully armed up, fully healed up, too, which is very important because lots of these guys in the front lines are uh, taking some serious damage, so they're weaker. Uh, but those guys will be helpful later on. It does kind of go quiet here a little bit. I think the Russians are preparing for another assault here. This T-80, or sorry, T-90 is still alive. They should probably take that out as soon as possible. I'm sure the Americans are trying. Um, it is getting some shots on this Abrams. The Abrams is tanking them. It is hitting it in the front, so yeah, it's not exactly the, the best place to hit it because it can absorb a lot of that damage. But, uh, you know, hopefully the Americans can deal with that T-90 before it does any more damage. All these ones back here are dead. These ones over here are all dead. I'm gonna say it, I think things are looking pretty good for the American defenders right now. You know, I don't want to jinx it, I don't want to be that guy, but knock on wood, DC might be saved. This is not wood, this is, <laughs> like, it's not wood at all, it's some sort of rock table, I thought. <laughs> Alright, um, I think these mortars are very helpful to be completely honest, these guys are, are just rocking it, baby getting tons of shots out there i think without these things america would be doomed its capital would be doomed how is this thing still alive its side is literally exposed and it is not going down dude i don't even know man but we got a vehicle moving out over here it's just this thing oh but the tank's joining it as well okay we've got a bit of an assault on the right here a last attempt at sort of a flank -a it could pay off this thing is getting some shots off um oh boy did it just take out this abrams it did is this abrams dead too it is oh my lord okay oh no wait is it it's semi dead okay this one's definitely dead so one abrams has gone down and the other one is for the most part dead i think it's machine gun and main gun still work but the turret will not rotate so it means it can't really shoot um at anything unless it's like right in the wheelhouse of it so that is a dangerous thing right there luckily there is still bazookas and there is still the tow gun uh so these things can still be taken out but it's going to be a little bit harder now that there's no armor and there goes that second tank right there absolutely exploding out and the uh the top to that thing actually sliding into those rangers in front of it and killing them that is sad to see oof i've actually got a few rangers and cops moving out being a bit of a forward operating team, maybe trying to buy some time for the uh, Washington, D.C. 
folks to escape or something along those lines. I'm actually shocked this thing is still alive. Is it damaged at all? Nope. It's got 30 kills, too. Hot dang, dude. They gotta take this thing out, man. They really, really do. They did take this one out, so that's good. The one that killed all the Abrams is dead. Not bad. Not bad at all. Whew. You know, uh, the White House was actually burned down in the War of 1812. I know a lot of people know this, but, um, you know, it's always a fun fact to, to comment on. It, it was burned down um, during the War of 1812. The British came and burned it. Uh, some some very valuable things and some, some very famous paintings and, and, you know, papers and things like that were saved by, um, wasn't it, uh... Was it James Madison? Who who was alive? Who was president? Well, let me Google. War of 1812 president. I think it was James Madison. Was it? Um, yeah, it was James Madison. Uh, so his wife saved a lot of the most valuable American documents and paintings there are. Uh, so that was phenomenal. Um, and James Madison actually took to the field commanding a lot of the uh, the soldiers directly. Ooh, that tank finally goes down. Uh, he is commander in chief, obviously, and I think he was one of the last presidents uh, to actually command troopers on the battlefield. Um, however, sadly, uh, the original White House was lost to the um, the British burning it down. Uh, it was later moved, of course, to the to the new White House location and all that. But uh, it's just an interesting little tidbit of uh, of history. You know what I'm saying? All right, I think the Americans have managed to pull this off. If we look at the, the mini-map at the top left, blue are uh, American soldiers left alive, and red are the Russians. The Russians are really down uh, for the count right now. Should we do one last ura charge? Charge, my Russian brothers. Charge, dudes. Come on, brothers. Come on, forward. All right, let's see if they manage to do anything. Most of them getting gunned down almost immediately here. Yeah. <laughs> All right. A couple of these guys are getting some shots off at the White House defenders. I doubt it really amounts to much. Yeah, they're, they're getting gutted. They're getting pwned, as 2012 gamers would say. <laughs> I kind of want a Rambo one. Should we see if we can get an RPG off? That'd be kind of cool. All right, let's see. How far? He's already dead. Okay. Oh, and I took control of him, and he immediately died. How about this guy? Ah! <laughs> All right, the Russians lose this one. We'll retreat the last of their forces. There's just like a few infantrymen randomly scattered about who can uh, get away. There's also these tanks, man. These tanks all are stuck. And most of them are damaged too, so. Oh well, the, the Russians didn't use them, so they lose them. Dumb AI, dude. Dumb AI. But I think the Americans would have been able to destroy them anyway. They still have these tow missiles, which are super impressive, uh, as well as the artillery, um, which actually aren't that impressive. This one has no kills, and this one only has two. Holy cow. Oh, this thing has 70 kills, though. That's pretty good. Uh, this tow missile has 39 kills and one tank kill, and this one has two tank kills and 60 infantry kills. That's impressive. So, uh, And there's also bazooka troopers and whatnot. This bazooka trooper has two tank kills and three infantry kills. That is overly impressive. So, yeah, they would have been able to take out those tanks even if the tanks hadn't gotten glitched. Um, yeah, guys, that's going to be about it for this video. I hope you enjoyed. Let me know. Do you guys think the Russians should get one more shot at taking on the White House and we just make it a massive battle? Like, I even, I, like, triple the White House defenses. We make the White House into a super fortress essentially, um, and the Russians get this massive invasion force, and, you know, that's sort of winner takes all, because that would be best two out of three, because the Russians won the last battle, the uh, Americans win this battle, so it would be like sort of a last shot at the White House or something like that. Do you guys think I should do that, or do you think we should have the U.S., like, counterattack or something? I don't know. Let me know what you guys think in the comment section below. I'd be curious to hear it. Thank you so much for watching. I really hope you enjoyed. Be sure to comment down below what you think. Subscribe if you haven't already, and be sure to like the video. And I'll see you all in the next one, guys. Peace. I hope you guys enjoyed that video. Be sure to click that subscribe button for more content, and hit the notification bell if you'd like to be alerted to whenever I live stream or upload. Thanks so much.